Tonight, 180 people across six states, including Florida, are now confirmed dead from Hurricane Helene. During the devastation today, President Joe Biden praised the Democratic governor of North Carolina and the Republican governor of South Carolina for a joint response to the storm. The president has deployed 1,000 active duty soldiers focused on getting food, water and other essential resources to people in need. More than one million families are still in the dark tonight in the Carolinas and Georgia, 27,000 more in Florida's Big Bend region. This is video from Duke Energy Crews. It shows the aftermath of a flood and mudslide in the western part of North Carolina. It's in the town of Old Fort. Today, a man who survived it described waking up in his trailer, filling with water and being carried away. Trailer slammed into my neighbor's trailer and we started riding him down. I just didn't know what was going to happen from there to there. It just kept on bobbing like a bobber in the water. Just kept on traveling. And by the time big tree comes, poosh, and that trailer started going to pieces. And even with all of that, he says he feels lucky and says his neighbors are resilient. For the ones of us that did survive, we were trying to help out, clean up everybody, some stuff that's in everybody's yard and get everybody back on track. With traditional ways of reaching people cut off, volunteers are getting creative. A group of mule drivers from Louisiana got results by bringing insulin to a North Carolina man whose road was washed out. The mule trains are also bringing supplies to his neighbors. Now, Central Florida is also helping families cope with this tragedy. Second Harvest Food Bank just sent hundreds of hurricane relief packs to people hit hard in the Tampa Bay area. It's their second shipment this week. New Six's Troy Campbell spoke to Second Harvest, local Red Cross teams, and a local sheriff about what they are seeing firsthand. Right now, the immediate need I need something to eat and something to drink right now. Dan Samuels with Second Harvest Food Bank in Orlando says on Tuesday they sent out about 500 disaster relief packs to the Tampa Bay area and in recent days sent thousands of meals to hard hit areas of Georgia, helping in Hurricane Helene relief. When we look at the disaster that happened because of Hurricane Helene, our, our hearts are broken. We want to do something to help. Every community needs something a little different. So here in Central Florida, what we're doing is we're focused on getting supports to our sister food banks. Here at Second Harvest in Orlando, they say the needs of the people in the panhandle will change based on where they are in their recovery of the storm. So right now, most of the stuff that they're sending over are snacks like these that don't require electricity to eat. You may not have a roof or a home to put it in. You may not have the ability to cook pasta, even though that's what's being provided, or to store 12 rolls of paper towels. What you need in that moment differs based on the situation that you're in. Uh, once you got over to uh, Taylor County, um, what were some of the images like? Well, they were shocking. Uh, you know, I saw a lot of devastation. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley is just back from the Big Bend region. He and his deputies offered firsthand support to fellow first responders. You know what it's like to have your own community devastated by a hurricane. So how does that play a role when you are offering your help and services to others experiencing it? Well, we're paying it forward because eventually we're going to have another hurricane uh, come through Flagler County and I'm going to be reaching out to those sheriffs like I have in the past. Still near the Gulf and helping in person with Hurricane Helene relief, Mike Brown with American Red Cross says their crews are busy assessing the needs of Floridians affected by the storm. What would be the best way for people in Central Florida to help? The best way by far, the way to help is to go to redcross.org and click on donate. We take um, cash donations, so that way we can put our services directly to the clients right away. In Orange County, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.